Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. No American should be forced to choose between the dictates of the federal government and the tenets of their faith. As I campaigned across the country, faith leaders explained that they were prevented from speaking their minds because of a 1954 rule known as the Johnson Amendment. I spoke about it a lot. Under this rule, if a pastor, priest, or imam speaks about issues of public or political importance, they are threatened with the loss of their tax-exempt status, a crippling financial punishment. Very, very unfair. But no longer. I promised to take action if I won. If I didn't win, I gave you no promise, that's for sure. If I didn't win, I guess I'd be gone, right? I'd be out enjoying my life, I think. But I wouldn't be helping you with the Johnson Amendment. And to this end, this financial threat against the faith community is over. In just a few moments, I will be signing an executive order to follow through on that pledge and to prevent the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. And you're the people I want to listen to. Other people are allowed to tell me and everybody what to do. I want to hear it from you, and so do a lot of other people. So you're now in a position where you can say what you want to say. And I know you'll only say good, and you'll say what's in your heart. And that's what we want from you. You are great great people. You are great, great people. Thank you. Thank you. This executive order directs the IRS not to unfairly target churches and religious organizations for political speech. No one should be censoring sermons or targeting pastors. And I know one thing, it never stopped Dr. Ben Carson. He said, the heck with the Johnson Amendment, right, Ben? I've been with Ben, and he did what he wanted to do. But not everybody's going to do that, Ben. You know that, right? In America, we do not fear people speaking freely from the pulpit. We embrace it. America has a rich tradition of social change beginning in our pews and our pulpits. Perhaps. There is no greater example than the historic role of the African-American Church as the agent for social progress, sparing our nation to greater justice and equality. We must never infringe on the noble tradition of change from the Church and progress from the pew. Thank you. Under my administration, free speech does not end at the steps of a cathedral or a synagogue or any other house of worship. We are giving our churches their voices back. We are giving them back in the highest form. With this executive order, we also make clear that the federal government will never, ever penalize any person for their protected religious beliefs. That is why I am today directing the Department of Justice to develop new rules to ensure these religious protections are afforded to all Americans. There are more than 50 religious Americans and groups sued the previous, and you've seen that, 50 sued the previous administration for violating their religious freedom. 
The abuses were widespread. The abuses were all over. As just one example, people were forbidden from giving or receiving religious items at a military hospital where our brave service members were being treated and where they wanted those religious items. These were great, great people. These are great soldiers. They wanted those items. They were precluded from getting them. And we know all too well the attacks against the Little Sisters of the Poor. Incredible nuns who care for the sick, the elderly, and the forgotten. Where are they, by the way? Where are they? Could you stand, sister? Stand. Come on up here, sister. Come on up. Right? Come on up. So nice. Congratulations, they sort of just won a lawsuit. That was pretty good. That's a good way of doing it, huh? Well, I want you to know that your long ordeal will soon be over. Okay? It's been a long, hard ordeal. We've all been watching. Some of you have been very much involved. A lot of us have been watching the news for years. And uh, five years. You had good lawyers? Excellent. Huh? Where are your lawyers? Stand up. Come on, stand up. Good job. Do you mind if I use your lawyers for various things? I could use some good lawyers, too. Good job. Great job. With this executive order, we are ending the attacks on your religious liberty, and we are proudly reaffirming America's leadership role as a nation that protects religious freedom for everyone. Okay? Great. Over 60 years ago, the IRS went after one of the greatest leaders in history, Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr. It is a sobering reminder of the need for vigilance. The words of Reverend King and other religious leaders have awakened the conscience of millions and millions of Americans and inspired us to act in the name of peace, justice, freedom, and charity. Every president must work to protect, and we have to do this. We have no choice to do this. We have absolutely no choice to protect these hard-fought gains. They have been hard fought. They have been fought for so many years, for so many decades, for so many centuries. And this is a very special day, perhaps, for that reason. And that's why we're here today, to defend the rights of all Americans, to honor our great Constitution, and to protect the sacred liberties given to us, not by any earthly power, but by our Creator in Heaven. I'd like to thank all of you great, great religious leaders for being with us today. We have some of our political leaders. Uh, you can have them. <laughs> they know. They know. And today is a very big day. We have a big vote coming up in a little while. And I thought it was very appropriate that it turned out to be you folks, and then I have to deal with those politicians. But they're good. I will tell you, they're good. They work very hard. And hopefully, we're going to have a wonderful day and a wonderful vote. And we're going to take care of a lot of people, great, great people from this country with their health care, their health care needs. And we hope to be able to do that. And we have all fought very hard to be able to do that. So I want to say to everybody in attendance and everybody in our country and everybody in the world, God bless you and God bless America. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
National Day of Prayer. We like that, don't we? Huh? Amen. National Amen. Day of Prayer. Proclamation. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King. Is that a good one? Yeah. 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 This is promoting and the promotion of free speech and religious liberty. That's a big one. That's as big as it gets, right? Two years she's worked so hard. Absolutely. Two years she's worked so hard. 